This is catchweed, also known as bed straw. It's called catchweed because it clings to you. It'll cling to your clothing, but it pulls off easily. Notice the square stem. Notice the square stem, which is characteristic of catchweed. Here are the flowers. Now when these flowers go to seed, those are the little burrs that catch on your clothing that you're when you walk out in the woods, they cling to your socks and your pants. Notice how the leaves grow in a rosette pattern around the square stem. This is growing right in my front yard. It's a volunteer. I didn't plant it, but I recognized what it was and so when I'm pulling the weeds in my yard, I'll leave the ones that I recognize as useful. Have you ever walked through the woods and brushed against something like this and ended up with this on your pants? This is called catchweed because it catches a hold of your clothing. Another name for it is bed straw. Now most people will consider this a weed, of course, but it was Emerson who said that a weed is just an herb whose uses are unknown. These seeds from the catchweed plant can be collected, roasted, and ground up just like coffee beans and used just like coffee to make a coffee-like beverage or good coffee substitute. It can be used as a prostate remedy for BPH or benign prostate hypertrophy, which is a common condition for older men. It's, uh, Many older men, when they, when they get past 45, 50, 55, will suffer from BPH. Catchweed or bed straw. Here's a way to clean the trash. Separate the, the trash from your, your seeds. Here's the uh, cat straw. The, cat, the uh, seeds will attach to material. So one way that I found to separate the seeds from the trash, probably the easiest way, is to use a handkerchief like this. Now the seeds will attach, will stick to the cloth but the trash won't, so then you can pick this up, shake off the trash, and it's a pretty good method for cleaning the 
trash, separating the trash from the seeds. You don't have to get all the trash out, of course. A little trash in there is not going to hurt anything. Okay, that's been steeping for about four minutes. Looks like coffee. Okay, I'm going to give it a test for the first time. It is a very uh, pleasant tasting beverage. It is, uh, this would be a good coffee substitute. If I couldn't get my coffee, this would certainly be a nice coffee substitute. Now what will remain to be seen is how this works on my prostate gland. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use myself as a guinea pig. I'm going to stop taking my herbal supplement and I'm going to substitute this instead. And um, from past experience, I know what happens when I stop taking my uh, herbal supplement and I know about how long it takes um, before I start having problems and so uh, I will be able to uh, easily tell if this beverage is indeed uh, a good uh, formula for my uh, prostate gland but I'll let you know how, how that works out for me this is survival doc reminding you be prepared or be prepared to be fleeced